Bird Lord Rippy here, uh, Scully Lumber Car Show, Urbana, Ohio. I'm in the back row. I just got down looking at the roundhouse. This guy has a little um, modified, I don't know what he's thinking there, with the NOS and everything. A little practical joke going on there. Car for sale. I was just talking to some of, some of my neighbors are here, showing their cars. So there's the roundhouse back here. This one was one of my favorite ones, and he said that one was one of his favorite ones that he had. Is that a 50 Ford? Yeah, a 50 Ford. It's owned by someone local, too, and that's the famous 50 Ford that hasn't been chopped yet and slammed. But these cars are high horsepower, real high uh, pollution back in compression ratio. You know, a lot of these old timers uh, aren't around anymore either. They used to come into these. There's Studebaker Lark. Nice paint jobs. This car was a, a show winner, I remember, back when the guy built it. He's a local guy. You, you can tell, I mean, the guy works for Honda. And yeah, this thing shakes the asphalt when it goes by. Yeah, the same guy owns it still. That was the best of show car when he first built it. It took every trophy they had the best. The, the guy is like a perfectionist, you can tell. I mean, he just really, there's not too many people capable have the skill level as this guy does to put it together. It'd look better if it was out in the sun. Another wildcat or Riviera. Okay. So we got have a nice row of cars from the 50s. A little one over here. I was just showing my neighbors that round barn. They didn't realize it either. Now there, that looks like a uh, Indy Pace car that. The Buick Regatta, an open wheeled uh, rat rod. This looks like a musty, musty one type of a setup. There's three of them stuffed in here. The, the one's a, um, to do uh, burnouts with. A drifter bike in the middle. Kind of a classic color combo right there. There's a rustic automobile there, another one. A little bit of everything. 435 cars, that, that last count. They're still coming in. Some of them are leaving too. It's before lunch. And there are not all cars either because there's a lot of trucks. 59 T-Bird. El Camino. Uh, these were really good sellers here. And you could get them. They made so many different colors. For the few years that they made the T-Birds like this. this is, I think everybody was buying new cars back in. This one wasn't really that special. You could get T-tops in them. You'd have plaques on them that said, yeah, that's a nice option package, but. It's kind of a funny thing to be doing on the 4th of July. We'll be going to another car show here from this one. Mustang Club, but there's Camaros in there.
Okay, we get the idea, I guess. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I hadn't been to a car show like this under the um, under the oak trees and stuff. Now I actually had one of these. I traded a bunch of firewood for it with the single round headlight, which I would be what 74 ish. Yes, that's what I had. It was a 74, and these are swivel bucket seats. So the, the seats were worth what a, almost a car would cost back in, in a way. Um, you can take that seat and it'll swivel clear backwards, swivel buckets. And then um, for making out it to drive in movie theater. Yeah. I mean, you, you, would, you would never believe it unless you owned one. But that seat will flip clear around. Swivel bucket seats from the factory. And it's almost like a van then. I mean, you can go back there and party all you want in the back seat with your swivel buckets. Then they went to a square headlight. A single square and then a dual square headlight. But in 74, that's what, that's what they had. And uh, I haven't seen one since. I wonder what ever happened to them. Here's a serious race car, uh, unplugged, dual, probably after cooled, turbo, but not blown. Uh, General Motors product. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Bogart Rippy here. Checking out the car show, um, Urbain, Ohio, Skelly Lumber Company. Kind of nice back here.